From the beautiful Sunshine State, the American Diabetes Association is bringing together the world's leading physicians, scientists, and healthcare professionals for the ADA's 84th Scientific Sessions. And ADA TV is here covering every angle. So I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 25. It really opened my eyes to really the huge need there is for diabetes education. Many times the complications of diabetes are very horrendous and persons suffer silently. As a person living with type 1 diabetes, I think the biggest problem is access to support outside of the doctor's office. We no longer have a system where human life is the most precious. It's profits. And as long as profits are driving our decision making around the preservation of human life, we will fail. Our focus is on creating a virtuous cycle to improve the economics of endocrinologists and diabetologists so that people with diabetes can receive the expert quality care that they need and deserve. Very often primary care physicians don't realize that there are education services readily available. Telehealth and telemedicine visits has become a great addition to the services that we are able to provide and has really opened up access to many people. Definitely we have to honor the fact that we've come a long way um, but also making sure everybody deserves the same quality care they should, they should get. So when people come to this meeting, they get to learn in their field, share their research, learn other research, and really understand the big picture as well. So we covered, you won't believe it, the whole country, representative population of 1.44 billion people, with a sample size of 124,000 people. It's probably the world's largest and most representative study. And your findings actually disputed the assumption that insulin resistance was the main factor. Absolutely, so many people have insulin resistance but do not become diabetic. In susceptible people, what happens is the demand for insulin can no longer be met when the beta cell function declines. And it's at that point they develop diabetes. So insulin resistance is a factor, but not the main driver. There's a lot of care barriers for the care of people with diabetes, raising the awareness of healthcare professionals, as well as people with diabetes about the importance of this topic. The conferences such as the ADA and other regional conferences are a very good tool to make people understand this issue.